excellent evening everyone we are all highly welcome to this evening's broadcast welcome welcome to every one of us how are we doing i hope we're all great we're highly welcome welcome so today we are looking at cooking oils okay cooking oils i have different oils there with me that's what we are looking at today which ones are the healthy cooking oil and which ones are the unhealthy cooking oil so that's what we're going to be looking at today i have my tray here filled with oil as much as is possible today we try to be very very you know factual and saying things the way they are wherever we stop we continue next week wednesday if we don't um, finish up so we are all highly welcome 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 to every one of us if you've joined me live, you can greet, so I can greet, welcome you to this evening's broadcast as we look at our oil. Of course, we know that at middle age, that is very, very important for us to be careful about what we are using, what we are eating, and things like that. Okay, and I'm also going to be showing us a demo today also, so help me share, share, share. Let's share out so that um, others can join us. Invite others to join us now. And if you've joined me live, you can greet so I can also welcome you to this evening's broadcast as we look at um, healthy oils. Let me be able to see those who have joined us live. If you join me live, you can greet. As we look at the, we are going to. I'm going to be talking about ten best cooking oil today, and then, um, if possible, where you can find them. For those of you who might be asking that question, <laughs> where can we find this? Where can we find that? We're also going to be looking at it, but I want to welcome those who have joined me. How are we doing? I hope we're all to be looking at it, but I want to welcome those who have. Wait, oh. it's like I'm broadcasting on Daddy's page. <laughs> I have to stop it. Are you sure? I'm not sure, but that's what I'm saying here. Should I help it? Should I stop? Eh? Should no. I stop? How is you now? Hello, how are we? Welcome, welcome. We have to be sure we're on aging with grace. Okay, it's aging with grace, but why is he now showing that his daddy that is talking? Have I changed to daddy? Oh, Gumwa Chooks, Judith, how are you? Long time. How have you been, Judith? Ah, it's been a long, long time, Mo. Oh. How are you? <laughs> How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. My laptop is trying to misbehave, so I need to really find out what's happening. Because as I want to share, he's showing me my husband. <laughs> he said, I'm showing me myself. Okay, I think it has come to know. Somebody must have changed it. Maybe somebody worked with um, his um, ID, or maybe my um, something is synchronized. Hello, welcome, welcome, Olatunde Felicia. Long, long time, Mo. You're just doing fine. Okay, Judith. <laughs> it's good to have you online today. I'm Ima Ipe. You're welcome. Welcome to this evening's broadcast. So we're all highly welcome. Today we're going to be looking at oil. I'll tell you why you need to be very, very careful about the type of oil you're taking. And I'll also give you research reasons and scientific base reasons why you need to change the type of oil you're using especially if you can do it now and do it on time so that you will not fall into several series of um, inflammation issues before you now begin to do it you know there is this saying that what is killing us is what we're eating that what we're eating is what is killing us and then again also what is eating us in fact I've just found out that what is eating you is even more dangerous <laughs> than what you're eating, though. Ah, 
emotional tension can be very very terrible even compared to all these nigerian states what we are going through in nigeria now but i'm sure that you're optimistic i'm sure you know that god of heaven we hear us in Nigeria, we heal Nigeria, heal our economic situations and heal our financial situations and heal everything around us in the name of Jesus. So at least that one, if you're not able to manage Nigeria economy, at least manage your own body, Abby. And that's why in the Aging with Grace, we teach you how you can stay healthy, how you can stay away from the hospital, using natural things you can find around you so that at least that part of you that you can manage which is what you are eating at least nobody is putting it inside your mouth you are able to do what you're supposed to do to manage well and eat what you're eating and make sure that um you're living healthy all right so we are all highly welcome 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 grace welcome welcome every one of us um femi i think um, you're showing too much of my table it's down there okay. Okay, welcome, Amima. Hello, well done. Mogunwa, you're welcome. Olatunde, you're welcome. Grace, you're welcome. We're all highly welcome. Okay, so like I said, today we are looking at oil. I have my oil. You can even show my oil tray, no problem. You know, on this side, is, there's no problem with that. My whole um, tray is filled with my oil. And I'm going to do a demo for us also today to show us... Um, the good oil and the bad oil or the ones you should avoid and the one you should try to work on all right thank you for the thumbs up i appreciate you all you're all highly welcome welcome thank you thank you thank you okay so fats you know anytime they're talking about oil that we're talking about fats and oil abby and anytime we're talking about we talk about your nutrients we talk about your macronutrients we talk about your your micronutrients so all these are all part of the nutrients you have in your food that you're eating all the time so a lot of people say hey fat is bad fat is bad well despite all what we have heard about fat about oil you know especially oil oil are very very essential part of a well-rounded diet you need oil you cannot just live without it taking oil in you we you need it even in the cooking process use it you need it also as energy and also for that like fire in your digestion process okay so we use oil to do our cooking different types of cooking like for baking for drizzles for sizzles for soothing for cooking for you know boiling and things like that so oil actually at the starting point of any successful meal and that's why sometimes when they want to do some kind of detox, they'll tell you stay away from oil because oil is very, very important actually in digestion, okay? It has its own calories. And again, it also helps us to absorb some important nutrients. Oil are also very, very important um, in absorbing in some nutrients in your body. I mean, Ma said, I'm really excited about this topic. Okay, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us also. Actually, fat, fat is actually linked to many essential health functions and benefits, okay? So we don't need to eat so much of it. And that's why when you now do excess, excessive, it's not very good for you. What If we're doing portion control, remember, we usually use our thumbs to represent the quantity of fat you're supposed to take. And that's why when I was doing my post, it was just essential to have shown you a teaspoon or a tablespoon that all that that's what you need fats and oil help in aiding cell growth fats and oil help also in protecting your organs and also they play a very important role in absorption of nutrients you know that in the food you're eating so our bodies need fat in order to absorb some fat soluble nutrients there are some nutrients that are not water soluble they are only fat soluble and you need fats to absorb them like vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k and even better carotene they you need oil to ab for them to be um, absorbed hello oh my tony you're welcome so if you're cooking with oils in particular 
it's a very smart move you need to you need oil okay and because fats are essential nutrients also and liquid fats like oil are also an excellent source of oil you need oil in fact any woman that is 31 years and above you will need at least like five teaspoons of oil every day like five teaspoons of oil in your diet every day i didn't say tablespoon no. what i have here now is tablespoon so in fact many of the spoons they make for us now they are not go and bring my measuring cup the blue one and the other one so i can show them what a teaspoon looks like okay the blue and the red one so then for men every man needs like eight six teaspoons of all every day so but the important thing is that you're taking the correct all if you take the wrong all then that's where there's a problem but if it's to say all is very very important five teaspoon for every lady every day and then like um six for men but that's not the one that you know some people will cook food with oil and they will now put vegetable inside oil that's not what we are talking about we're not talking about putting vegetable inside oil we're not talking about using so much oil that you are now you know eating oil instead of eating your normal food so um when we say teaspoon so i have uh, my cup here this is like one teaspoon okay so in a whole day every woman needs like five of these um let me just do a demo for us to show us what that what i mean by five so i will just count five teaspoons now and then you will see what i mean i'll put water here and i'm going to just collect five so that you will see now that um, you you are now cooking and you're using very big you just carry your bottle and pour it Bo, 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 bo inside your pot that you're cooking food this is like one okay like two like three like four and like five so if you're a woman here see the quantity of oil you're supposed to take in a whole day the quantity of oil you're supposed to take in a whole day can you see it swimming in the in the cup here or i can better still just pour it to show you this is like one eight cup you will see that it cannot even be up to it can't even fill one eight cup okay so that's the quantity of natural stable oil you're supposed to take in a day as a woman and a man one more teaspoon inside here but you find a lot of us when we want to eat we will pack that oil you're drinking oil and then you none and then even to cup top it up you're not even drinking the the using the healthy oil so be very very careful what you're doing to your body so now which oil is right for you the oil that is right for you depends on the type of cooking you're doing you know because oil smoke point oil smoke point there's something called oil smoke point which is that point when oil starts burning and when oil starts smoking and that's one of the most important things to consider anytime you're thinking about the oil to use so if you hit your oil past its smoke point it not only harms the flavor of the food and the oil but many of the nutrients in that oil degrades and then the oil will now begin to release harmful compounds called free radicals so when you cook an oil out beyond the smoke point it begins to release harmful objects that are called free radicals so if you're wondering which is the best um cooking oil for your health and which is the best cooking oil that um you're going to use i know there is a lot of disagreements but what i usually do when you know where people are struggling and saying it is good it is bad leave that one the one everybody agrees is good go to that one <laughs> so that's what i always um, advise people so all you can vary a lot in their makeup their fat content and basically what we normally use to know good and bad oil is poly and monosaturated fat content that the oil has so the more um the healthier oil are considered to have more of mono um, and polysaturated um oils okay and then the unhealthy ones have saturated fats so they are less healthier like that 
all right so how um to choose the healthiest cooking oil based on what you're making whatever you're cooking the type of food the method of uh, procedure of cooking that food also determine the type of oil you to use and the single most important factor when choosing which cooking oil you will use like i said before is the smoke point so when an oil gets so hot that it starts smoking then it starts to taste burnt and bitter. You find that sometimes that when people are cooking and they put oil and then it's already burnt and bitter, they've all lost all their nutrients and it's now releasing free radicals into the body. So heating an oil past its unique smoke point can damage or degrade the molecule structure of the fatty acid that is produced, you know, um, while cooking that oil. But generally, more refined oil okay it's not good so it's better for you to take oil in its natural form especially if they are virgin oil and unrefined and the one you did not pass through some cooking process sometimes some and that's why some oil go bad some oil are naturally good on their own but when they go through some of the processes of production they will now degrade and become bad so which oil should uh, be the mainstay in your meal will depend on the type of cooking you're doing okay it will depend on the type of cooking that you're doing are you frying are you um, baking are you soothing it will depend on it but like i said the um the smoke point is the most important like for frying now it's better for you to use oil in the with their natural flavor and which the oils that have high smoke points it's better for you to use oil with high smoke points like those that are typically above 375 degrees fahrenheit because that's the temperature you usually fry your things when you're frying things they go as high as 375 degrees fahrenheit okay so if you're frying some of the oils that are better for you are like canola oil refined olive oil avocado oil vegetable oil safflower and um like um, safflower and peanut oil they are those that have high burning point and then when you're baking you go for neutral tasting oil like um neutral tasting oil like canola oil i'm going to still tell you about canola oil canola oil is good but please you must read your labels you must be sure that they are not over refined canola oil canola oil is one of the most adulterated oil out there because a lot of people now know that oh they have high cooking points they are very good so people produce them and they degrade them and they already have free radicals before they sell them so you need to be sure of which one you're buying okay so that um it wouldn't have gone bad even before taking it so um for baking it's better for you to use neutral tasting oil like um canola oil okay it's better for baking for soothing and searing you can choose flavor oil that have low smoke points like canola, um extra virgin olive oil peanut oil sesame oil they are also very good for soothing and searing then when you are dressing like salad dressing and the re rest the most flavorable stuff are always the best for you to use also extra virgin um oil like flaxseed oil they are very good for dressings all right so when you are examining the healthy quality of cooking oil there are three things that you have to look out for and you know it's very very important for you to be sure that um that whether they contribute to inflammation or not so the ratio that's one thing when you're looking for healthy oil find out first whether they are having any form of inflammation three properties in them that's one of the ways the second way is also to find out the ratio of omega-3 and omega-6 6 fatty acid i've thought about that once you need to be sure that their ratio are very okay and then the third thing you need to be very very careful about is the processing of the oil like i said you can have a good oil now like canola oil or safflower oil 
or sunflower oil, they now process it in a very bad way. When they put a lot of hydrogenation in them, the oil now becomes very, very bad and they are not good. But inflammation, like we know, is the root of so many diseases. Like I said, I was going to do a demo for us today to show us why oil is very, very important. If you're taking the right oil, like omega-3 oil, okay, this year I have my omega-3 as um my RTC omega-3. If you're taking the correct oil, you're not going to fall into so many diseases. And vice versa, if you're taking bad oil, you're going to fall into so many diseases. Inflammation, like I said, is the root of so many diseases. Inflammation is the root of arthritis, the root of diabetes, even high blood pressure. Like this are omega-3 fatty acid now, eh? That we normally chew. If you take the right oil, I'm going to do a demo for you to show you what will happen to you now. Like if you keep taking your omega-3 morning, afternoon, and night, it's going to take charge of your blood vessels make sure they are okay your arteries are okay they are not clogged with this bad oil i know that there was a time they ran out some things and showed when people eat oil that is not good how it forms in their body it becomes very solid and then that solid oil by the time it becomes very solid it's going to clog your system okay so the most important thing to do for your health is to lower the inflammation of your in your body you need to lower the inflammation of your body so because inflammation can be caused by several things like inflammation can come because you're eating a lot of sugar you're taking a lot of fast foods you're taking a lot of um, um artificial all these um, farm animals that are taking a lot of artificial um fertilized grasses processed foods alcohol Stress and environmental toxins also are part of the things that could cause inflammation. And then if you're taking oil that has high omega-6 fatty acid, it can also bring inflammation to your system. Lack of sleep can also bring inflammation. And then chemicals that are in cosmetic products can also bring inflammation. But if you're taking your omega-6, omega-3 fatty acid, you're going to take charge of all this inflammation now and i'll show you what happens when you take omega-3 fatty acids i have my water here this water i want to use it to demonstrate the temperature of what of our body the temperature of thing is not warm again the temperature of um uh the uh, blood in our system that's what i want to use this to demonstrate hot water All right, let's take that this is the temperature of the of our blood system. And then let me put this in. I want to use this to represent this is like like a clogging. You know, when fat clogs, this is how they look you know in our system like if you put like even like all this oil i have here some of the oils i'm going to show us that are not good oil you know you will see them sleeping that's what some people call them they become very hard so i want to use this to demonstrate it so for those people who are taking bad oil that the bad oils are not good for them when they enter their system they will become like this clogging and imagine if something like this is just going on in your in your artery your veins in your system going on there okay and then they are here so they clog and they are there they are going to block a lot of things for you i want to use it to demonstrate for you to understand what i'm saying so it's the same i'm putting it in the two glasses the way that you've taken bad oil you've taken sugar you've taken um processed food stress environmental toxins sugar you know flour and all those things they are all in your system and they are there just up and down i'm using this two to demonstrate while i wait for the water is already cold all right so that's how like these waters are representing the blood in your system and then these um 
foams like are like the clogged oil you will see nothing is happening to both of them they are just there and that's how if they are in your bloodstream they are going to clog up nutrients from going into your bloodstream but let's think for example that you're like me that takes my active c omega-3 active c i've already taken two i just opened this one in front of us a few minutes ago and i've already taken two and you're like that person that like me that takes my two active c three times a day in my system okay i want to just use one of them to demonstrate how it works so this is one of the glasses i'm going to put the active c here oh it does like the telephone I'm going to put it in so i'm putting only on one glass i'm not putting in the second glass to show you so the only difference between these two now is that one has active c and the second one does not have active c so if you have taken all these bad things in your system and they clogged your system, active C does wonders. What it does is all those things that have clogged your system, it goes ahead and it begins to work on them. It begins to melt and dissolve all those free radicals in form of fat soluble free radicals. You know, there are some things that are not water soluble. It's only fat soluble that, you know, they are. And that's why some of those nutrients that are, that are supposed to be in your system are supposed to be melted and go around your system and work on your system. Can you see what is happening to this? I'm shaking two of them at the same time. Can you see what is happening with the one with the active C? The one with the active C is dissolving it. And that's how it dissolves all those fatty acids, all those bad omega-6 fats that are in your system that are not the best. And all those free radicals that are in your system that are not the best. Now, let me tell us, if you're taking the wrong omega-3, this will not work. And that's one of the ways I show people that our omega-6, our omega-3 active C is the best in the world. Okay, if you take your omega-3 and you put it in the fridge and it blocks, it's not good. This omega-3 I have here, our active C omega-3. Even if you put it in the fridge and bring it out, it doesn't block. Showing you that is the correct and the good omega-3. That we go and the anti-inflammation is an anti-inflammatory, it's antioxidant. It helps to move nutrients that you have taken all over your blood or your system. And then cleanses and clears your arteries. Like people who have high cholesterol, high bad cholesterol. What you see this omega-3 doing in these glasses, what it does to the bad cholesterol in your system. It moves them away and moves them out from your system. Okay? So that's why RTC is very, very important for anybody that is up to 35 years and above. If you're having high bad cholesterol and you want to bring it down and cleanse your whole system, if you're having high blood pressure, if you want to prevent high blood pressure, if you want to prevent cardiovascular issues, this is the best thing that can happen to you. That's what happens there. I just am going to give us this demo. See, this one is still there. It's the same water. Nothing is happening. If I bring another type of omega-3 and put here, you will still see that nothing happens. So omega-6, it is and is the best for you. So make sure you're taking your correct oil and you're having the correct ratio because too much omega-6 fatty acid can cause inflammation. It can cause your arteries to be clogged. It can cause heart diseases and increased risk of cancers also. Self. Excessive amount of omega-6 or polyunsaturated fatty acid, they call it PUFA, you know, that have very high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio also is ve not very very good and it's already what you find in all this processed food and western foods that we are eating unlike the mediterranean foods that we eat so you need a good ratio of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acid all right let me not go into that two system let's just go through our good oil because we have to also start in time now the first good oil you should have in your diet is 
olive pure virgin olive oil pure virgin olive oil is should be a basic ingredient for your food especially if you're not frying like if you can um, um, put it in your salad use it in making your food if you want to take your wild rice if you want to take your beans if you want to take your whole grain wheat and um, bread and you want to quickly um, um, do your eggs or pure olive oil is very good for you this virgin olive oil is extracted without chemicals remember that i said the processing form is also very very important that's another thing you need to watch out the process form the way it is processed that's another thing you need to watch out so extra virgin oil contains more than 30 different phenolic compounds that's a group a group of phytochemicals that include anti-inflammatory and blood vessel expanding actions like i told us that's one thing rtc does for you you know it has anti-inflammatory properties and it also helps to expand your blood vessels instead of making them tight and also cleansing your your blood vessels so cold pro, pro, pressed extra virgin oil is very very good for you okay you can use it in drizzling you can use it in soothing but it's not recommended for frying or roasting because it has very low smoke point don't fry or roast with it if you need to fry or roast then the one you should use is one they call the pure olive oil okay like now the one i normally get for my children it comes in candy the this one is actually has pure virgin oil and um, extra virgin oil but is a non-stick and is also a cooking spray okay and this um, pure olive oil can be used because it it can actually go as high as 465 degree firing hat okay i usually buy it um for them i just bought this one when i travel but they are not home yet i've not even opened it i tried to check the expiry date it's still to 2024 so it will finish by the time they need it hello esther samuel you're welcome princess gloria don't want you're welcome how much is omega-3 you can chat me on my whatsapp number plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two let me put it here for you my whatsapp number okay my whatsapp number is plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two and i'll pin it so um chat me i'm not selling oils but i sell my supplements okay <laughs> all right uh so omega-3 is one supplement everyone should have it will help control your cholesterol level help control prevent every cardiovascular diseases help control blood pressure if you're having high blood pressure it will also help to control it for you all right so i've talk, talked about two oil for us now pure virgin pure olive oil and also extra virgin olive oil now another oil you must have in your kitchen is avocado oil avocado oil is a great choice because it's unrefined like extra virgin oil but it has a high smoking point which means it can be used for cooking it can be used for frying it can be used for stir fry the only issue is that it doesn't have much flavor and again that's why it's also good i have my avocado oil remember in one of my videos i did how you can make avocado oil but it's very very strenuous and you don't get so much from it but this one i traveled i make sure i got my avocado oil that i will use to do stir fry and other things you know it's very creamy like you know like the way avocado is and it is monosaturated and polysaturated fatty acid. It has one of the highest monosaturated fat content among all cooking oil. And it also has vitamin E. The only thing about olive um, avocado oil is that it's very expensive. I don't want to tell you how much I bought this. But it's very, very good. Only that it's very, very expensive. This one now is only for mommy and daddy. <laughs> now, the number three oil that you can also get 
is walnut oil okay walnut oil is another very good oil it's a healthy choice and it's a very very good source of omega-3 fatty acid because it has alpha linolenic acid remember omega-3 so the thing is that if you're not able to lay your hands on all these expensive foreign gotten oil just get your omega-3 fatty acid and it will do the job for you okay omega-3 i've already shown us the demo since this one is still here nothing has happened but remember the one we put omega-3 dissolved and you're clean and clear of free radicals of clogged arteries of clogged veins okay now walnut oil has rich nutty flavor and it's usually very good in salad dressing because it will boost the taste of your your dish when you're using it it will boost the taste of your dish and it's also it has very low smoke point so it's not good for cooking it's not good for frying it's only good for you to drizzle it like on your pancakes after you have just finished your pancake you just drizzle it on your pancake you can drizzle it on your ice cream for that nutty um flavor on your salads or for those of you who take coffee and things like that walnut has a good ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acid which helps it in inflammation checking so walnut is good for you you can have your walnut another good oil you can have is if you can lay your hands off we call it they call it the butter pure butter hay okay some people might be shocked at this but if you have unprocessed butter it is very very fairly nutritious for you because it has vitamin a vitamin e vitamin k and it's also rich in inflammatory fight, fighting fatty acids okay so if you can lay your hands on unprocessed hay butter is very is also good it's one of the good oil it's also um because especially when you have the ones that the they got from cows that grazed naturally themselves okay it will now have that vitamin k2 that can help all right that's our fourth oil you will like to have what learn yet how much is what you will hello don't watch how are you all right the fifth good oil is sesame oil this sesame oil is very very good sesame seed oil you know what sesame seed oil can do for you is one of the oil that are the people who are making cooking in a um, Mediterranean diet. They use it a lot. It's a staple Asian and Indian cooking um, ingredients. This is the same oil, okay? And it's another polyunsaturated fat. It has very good polyunsaturated fat. In fact, some research shows that system oil has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties, okay? And they help in lowering... Um, some kinds of cardiovascular diseases, atherosclerosis. Atherosclerosis is a buildup of fat and other substances in your artery walls, which could cause the vessels to narrow and then it can now raise your blood pressure. And again, remember, if you can't lay your hands on system seed oil, get your RTC. RTC will do it for you very, very well. Then the, the sixth oil we'll talk about today is... Uh, flaxseed oil incidentally we finished the flaxseed oil in the house when we were baking before i traveled i didn't buy it because i usually get that one in nigeria but flaxseed oil is also very very good it's an excellent source of alpha linolenic acid and it also forms omega-3 fatty acids okay fish like salmon mackerel sardines provide this form of flaxseed oil in in um in in animals so and that's another thing omega this omega-3 does for you okay this if you can lay your hands on flaxseed get your omega-3 fatty omega-3 active c is very very good okay they reduce symptoms of arthritis like this active c if somebody is having serious symptoms of arthritis that has to do with blood flow i usually recommend active um omega-3 for the person because it shows that higher levels of um if you're having um, um arthritis heart issues you're having higher level of omega-6 in your system but you should have a good balance of omega-6 and omega-3 and that's why if you're not sure of the oil you're using why don't you just get your omega-3 so that you can take your omega-3 supplement and use it to balance 
the omega-6 you're taking naturally from some of these bad oils that are not very very good for you all right another oil that is good like i said that i'll tell us again is your canola oil canola oil has only seven percent saturated fat like olive oil and it's also high in monounsaturated fat and also contains high level of polyunsaturated fat okay but the problem like i said before with canola oil is is over over adulterated in the market because people know that it's affordable more than some of this oil that i have shown you and it's also good and it has high um smoke points a lot of people go on to produce canola oil that is over processed refined over refined that is no longer very very good for them that is no longer very very good um for them so it now makes it not so good again for people who are taking it but canola oil is good you can fry with it you can um, bake with it okay it has high smoke points and then united states of um, america also said that because they, they 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 try to tell you to read your labels when you get your canola oil because when they are over processed they kill all the nutrients and then they now begin to form free radicals but when they are cold pressed so if you're going to buy canola oil you look for cold pressed canola oil okay they are a little more pricey but they are the best that you should have those are the ones that are better for you they are healthier for you then number eight are like grapeseed oil which i don't have here okay but i have almond oil okay almond oil is another very good oil you can have i even got to two because i use now let me tell you another secret i usually mix my oil for my hair when my cream finishes now, I'm going to mix my carrot oil. I make carrot oil, almond oil, olive oil, and I mix them to make my hair, okay? To use as my hair. Another good oil is almond oil. Almond oil is a nut oil and it's very, very good. It has a very good polyunsaturated fat, monounsaturated fat in it. And then it's very, very, also very, very good for you to use. It's another oil that you should get. Then number nine is either sunflower oil or safflower oil, unprocessed, cold pressed. They are good. Okay, because also um, it's high in unsaturated fats. These oils are high in unsaturated fats. And they also have vitamin E. And of course, remember, take your daily dosing. Don't go and overuse some of this oil. Yes, sunflower oil contains a lot of omega-6 fatty acids, okay? And that's why it's not among, you see that it's my number nine, isn't it? It's not among the first seven that I have mentioned. So if you can do without it, it's better to do without it. But if you must have it, you can have it in smaller quantity, all right then the last but not the least we are going to talk about today is peanut oil and this is also readily available in nigeria peanut oil is almost also like almond oil that i have mentioned they are not oils okay and they they are they like peanut oil i love the flavor a lot anytime you're cooking with your peanut oil even everybody will know and will like it it has one of the highest monounsaturated fat content amongst cooking oil and it's usually very flavor it's very very good the flavor is very very good okay so oils are very very important for you oils are very very important and you need to be very very careful about the type of oil you're using you will see that i didn't mention some oil today i want to see what we know the oil i have not mentioned these oil i have not mentioned are among the oils you should avoid there are some oil you should avoid but our time is going out today i'm going to be sharing with you next week when is the seven oils you should avoid as much as possible to remove in your food i know africans will be very very unhappy with me because there's one or two oils you did not hear here look your health is more important than anything 
I don't want, I'll talk about them next week. Everybody should be happy. If you can afford your almond oil, buy your almond oil. If you can afford your system oil, buy your system oil. If you can avoid, afford your avocado oil, buy your avocado oil. If you can afford your olive oil, buy your olive oil. Okay, I have all this oil in front of me and maybe your ray oil if you can. There are some oil I didn't mention. I'm going to be mentioning them next week to tell you why some of those oil are not good for you and why you should avoid them. Because, you know, oil is an important part of a healthy diet and is a key essential fatty acid that you need, like maybe and your vitamin E, okay? So, and again, oil helps to make your food tasty. If you don't use oil in your food, you'll be feeling somehow. You're going to be feeling it that something is lacking in that food that you're eating. But in overall, healthy oil are good for you. And remember what I said, spice to spoon if you're 31 years and above and you're a lady. And then um, 60 spoon if you're 31 years and above and you are a man. That's the portion daily you're supposed to take of your oil. All this good oil we're talking about. If you overtake them, they are not good for you. Remember, everything should be done in moderation. So I'm going to take our questions and then we call it a day. Do yourself a favor. Get your omega-3 fatty acid supplement. Get it. I have it everywhere. I chew it. I swallow it after each food so that it can help the nutrients in the food I'm eating to be absorbed in my system. That's another thing it does for you. So it doesn't matter whether you have, um, you're not having cholesterol, you're not having heart issues, you're not having any. Prevention is better, it's safer, and it's cheaper than cure. And also for the nutrients you have taken, there are some nutrients like I've mentioned to us before, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin K, that needs oil for it to be absorbed in your body, okay? Get your omega-3 fatty acids. Take it very well so that it can help your system absorb all these nutrients very, very well. So I'll take our questions now and then we call it a day. So if I don't have any questions, we'll still go. I'll just check now. I'm also going to be launching a book which I will give free of charge next week, Wednesday. And that book is about oil. I'm going to tell you all about this good oil, about bad oil, about why you need oil. So join me on Wednesday next week to get that book. I only give it free to those who join me on Wednesday during the broadcast next week, Wednesday, 4 p.m. After that, I'll tell them the prices of the book and I'll start selling my book. It's only free for those there. So as you're there, we'll just send it to you and that will be it. After that, you're buying it. <laughs> Lenient is asking me about palm oil. We will talk about palm oil next week. <laughs> so join me next week, Wednesday, 4 p.m. and get a free book and then we talk about palm oil. Neka is watching with me. Thank you, Neka, for joining me. God bless you. Thank you all. In the absence of any other question, I want to say thank you. See you tomorrow. Hopefully by 8 p.m. tomorrow, we are going to be talking, just something very good. Love you all. Bye.